this all comes to comes to us for free guys because I'm an influencer. Influencer. <laughs> She enters the cafe and promises that oh my gosh, she's a bimari. Give her a free coffee. I wish that was real, but it's not. We are currently in a cafe called as Third Wave Coffee Roasters. These guys are very huge in Bangalore, and now they've opened up in Bombay. They are known for their medium dark and dark roast coffee. I guess this is my first time trying. So let's see what the hype is about. How the coffee actually tastes. The cafe is pretty spacious. Such a spacious cafe in Bombay is very impressive. I'm saying the cafe is very spacious, right? Yeah. Too spacious for Bombay. We're not used to this yeah. other than. Uh, Only Starbucks has like so much space. Yeah. Look at look at this. Yeah. It is too crowded up there. Too many people. We don't have so much people. And we want the cafe to be a little mellow, peaceful. Yeah. For empty. To be precise, order empty. <laughs> order that does not like humans next to her. What did you order? Pecha de Khan pour over and one cappuccino. Mm -hmm. You see, you love me so much. You know, I love, like my coffee with milk most of the time. Mm. भैया जी प्लीज एक रील बना दीजिए भैया क्या बना दे ग्रिल 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 बना दो हिडन जेम ऑफ बॉम्बे फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीस पर आवर वन रील पे पे अप इफ ओनली दिस गाइस विल लाइक माय वीडियो शेयर माय वीडियोस एंड सब्सक्राइब टू ऑल द व्लॉग्स देन आई विल बी एबल टू पे so do you guys understand the importance of liking my vlog if you don't do it rhythm is never getting paid for anything he's never getting paid to be the side actor who is you taking a bit that parody you know that mukesh added this company in front of movies yeah the, before the movie that mukesh had a pan gupta yeah. everything should make that for myself ye rhythm hai चार साल से दाखिले एडिट कर रहा था दाने एक रुपया नहीं दिया क्यों अब एक लाइक करेंगे एक सब्सक्राइब करेंगे दास को एक रुपया देंगे प्लीज लाइक कर दो There there used to be customers in our cafe who used to say, "I want it to be piping hot." Okay, there should be smoke coming out of the coffee. One time, one time I, I lost my shit. There was this one customer, one annoying customer, who will ask for me sixty or longer. He used to come every time, like give me my coffee. What do you want? I I knew what his coffee was. I just to fucking want coffee. What do you want, sir? Large cappuccino, piping hot. It should be piping hot. Okay, but we serve it hot, sir. No, I want to do piping hot. Okay, piping hot. Two times and every time she gave me piping hot. Now, that's a standard procedure. You hold the pitcher next to the steam wall. As soon as your hand starts getting warm, you start getting hot. You take the pitcher off. You do not keep warming it more and more and more because once the milk gets goes after a certain temperature, it starts tasting bad. Yeah. You cannot have it again. It, it tastes really bad. But still, the fucker wants even more hot. I used to steam it so much that my hand used to literally burn. I used to have red marks. Still, it was not hot enough for me. One time we came, and my entire cafe was crowded as fuck. It was literally one of the worst days ever in my cafe. My other barista was on, on the bar, and I was taking the orders. He came, had my coffee, piping hot. He then he he said, okay, he has a fucking audacity. The trigger word no, here no, is no. piping hot. No, he had the audacity to say, every time I come, you also have a bad coffee. I did it to spill some of the cold and stale coffee. I lost my shirt. I took his order. He went out. I told my other barista, put the thermometer in. Make sure that the milk is boiling. The milk is boiling. It should raise to more than 100 degrees. It should be boiling. Given that coffee, I gave it to him. That guy came inside. And you know what? That that other habit of staying staying at the bar counter and drinking the coffee. Where's my coffee? He's going outside and drinking my where's my coffee. He sees the hundred degrees inside. I made so fucking hot. I went in and gave him. So you're piping hot cappuccino. He had a sip. Didn't you make it too hot this time? So you are piping hot. I get piping hot. Do you do you finally have closure with that? Yeah, yeah, closure. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you have closure with all the bad? One thing, one thing. I I I became a barista in the industry. 
I learned how to manage it. Never again. It's not. It's not every person's job. You cannot do that thing. And you have a lot of mental patience. You don't have a lot of tolerance to go through what they go through every day. So next time, next time, if you are being rude to someone at a McDonald's or a Starbucks or any place, don't be rude to them. If you are having bad service, know that they don't want to give you bad service. Complain. Be a little polite. Just you know, listen to you. If they are being rude to you, fuck them up. Smells better. Yeah, it tastes better. Not your palate. No, it's too strong for my palate. You know, we should introduce a new segment in my vlogs, which is showing people new product which we've recently introduced, which is this Bisleri sanitizer. It smells really nice. The spray is even better. The spray is even better. Plus, this is very cheap, just twenty-five rupees. Plus it's tiny and fits in every bag. That's what she said. <laughs> it's tiny and fits, fits in, in the bag. <laughs> you said fits in everything. <laughs> I also have to go and get my camera repaired. But what if they take away my camera for thirteen, fifteen days? What am I supposed to use then? How will I vlog? iPhone is Imagine this brush could just remove that dust from my lens. Please go away. And you're gonna put the same dust on your face. Oh shit! My screen turned completely different after that. <laughs> it's like I applied foundation to the screen. Oh shit! Very good. I hope rhythm gives you. Shut up. I was just going to shoot how long it takes for us to decide a place, but then all of us are pro. Where are we? We are evolving. We are evolving. Excuse me. It's called Jiggly Puff is evolving. Huh? The one thing she learned today what <laughs> Jiggly Puff evolves into. She learned Jiggly Puff evolves into last form is Wiggly Tuff. So she's acting smart about it. But I know Jiggly Puff, the pink one, and she was Misty's Pokemon. Misty. Pop off now. Just pop off. She was never Misty's Pokemon. What's wrong with you? She was nobody's Pokemon. She was nobody's Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> she used to just sing and draw on people's faces and go. You are Jiggly Puff. Look at yourself. I thought I was Anand more singer. like. Do you know the Hindi version of Pokemon? Ah, to sir, we've seen na. Together, both, guys. Both. Together. Shall we? Abhi nahi aate mujhe. How dare you? What is how? How dare do you not know Pokemon, sir? I know. Did them will sing on my behalf? I know. Did them will sing on my behalf. Did them will sing. She met me and the first thing she's telling me. Who gives a difficult spelling of Duchess? And then she asked me, "What is Duchess?" And then I had to explain a Duchess. She thought, "Oh, Watchman is called Duchess." <laughs> I really wanted to ask that. What did she do during her grammar <laughs> lessons? I, I please don't blame it on SSC. I come from SSC also. I hated grammar because my teacher only taught us active passive for three years back to back. <laughs> But the active passive is the. And I used to love it because that was the only thing I knew. Other than that, I hated English. The subject English was one of the worst subjects for me. Okay, people will ask why am I blogging in English? Science was worse. Geography was worse. History was worse. <coughs> Civics was worse. Civics was worse. <laughs> Economics was worse. Only arts, arts and crafts. Home science. <laughs> why do you think I'm good at home activities here? I've been trained by my school. With laundry. And then you complain. I I don't like to be treated like a housewife. Shut up. That's the only thing you're good at. After a lot of self-realization, I've come to a conclusion that I am the biggest crow, crow. Wow, biggest procrastinator I personally know. And today is the day I finally have decided to go to the Canon Service Center. I am not very sure if the two dots which you guys can see right now. Is the defect in my lens, or it's in the camera? According to rhythm, it's in the camera, and my camera at this point looks very ugly because the body is coming off. And I got this camera in 2019, so I don't have the warranty. So I'm going to embrace myself for the charges they're going to tell me to get this repaired. So let's go and check Canon Service Center. Luckily, it's just three kilometers from my place. I'm made to the service center. Look how dirty this is. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Okay, let's wait for a turn. I did submit my camera 
they said that the two dots is possible for them to remove it from my lens it's actually not on the lens it's in the body so that is different i'm also going to get the cleaning done then plus i'll be also changing the body because it looked miserable so these are the three things which i want to do and they told me it's easily going to take them seven to eight days to which i requested her to do it a little faster because i need my camera all the time i already feel like crying because i'm gonna miss it and it won't be there with me for so long what am i supposed to do i know i can vlog from my iphone I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. Let me try this scene. I like it. I think this is better. Unless just the uncle start looking at my nice pretty looking headlights. No, this is this tube light. How are the tube lights? How is it headlight then? Because they're shaped like two headlights. But that headlights are not visible. It's okay. the upper tube light, upper headlight. Man, so this is low dipper, na? Low 